Gar has the ability to change into any animal in the animal kingdom. When we first come across Gar, he's only interested in changing into a tiger because that is his childhood favorite animal. Ta-da! You have to be naked. Ah. <laughs> Initially, Gar is with another superhero team called the Doom Patrol. I can remove whatever's inside you. This is for your own good, Rachel. You don't want to see what I really am. Yes! <laughs> he ends up meeting the Titans through interesting circumstances. Initially, he meets Rachel. It's Hiker Lane, nice! I'll go for the camera sinkhole. Rachel relates to Gar because, again, he's an orphan and he feels a little out of place because his hair and his powers and he doesn't really feel like he belongs anywhere and Rachel feels the same way. I, I cool hair. hair. I, I'm, I'm Rachel. Gar. The relationship dynamic between Gar and Rachel is a little tricky because there is a little bit of an underlying teenage kindred hearts but also a brother and sister relationship in the sense of they look out for one another and ultimately they're friends first. Are you okay? Gar is a very understanding character. He's someone that looks for not the animal in somebody, but the good person in someone, and he sees good in everybody. How did you? Yeah, yeah we'll talk about that later. Come on. He's got a really good art. He tries to make light of every situation. That's the best way he deals with any emotion outside of happiness. I still can't believe he traded in the Porsche for a minivan. He's the class clown. I mean, he's, he, he really is. He means no harm by any of the jokes he tells. He just tells them, and oftentimes he doesn't even realize what comes out of his own mouth. I'd really like to meet Batman. No, 